Welcome everyone, Grand Gnosis Master, Dr. Thor Templar here, and we're going to talk about an interesting book here called Psychic Basketball by S.G. Van Wells. Empower your game with practical applications of telepathy, precognition, and telekinesis. Well, this is an interesting little book, and one of the nice things about it is um, it's kind of an odd book, um, which is very typical of uh, the religious fanatics out there. Um, this person um, has put in this book a large amount of uh, information from uh, the Bible and uh, about loving Jesus, etc. And it seems to be kind of a book uh, to draw you in and then move you into that belief system. So this is something, of course, that um, as you read through this uh, pretty small little booklet, um, which is, uh, let's see, how many pages is this? Well, I hate to judge anything by pages, but everybody should know basically. 37 pages, of which probably half of that is uh, information on the uh, Bible. And uh, one nice thing about this book is you can get it free at the link uh, that I will give you below this particular video. So follow that link uh, to our page, and from there you'll find the link uh, to where you can actually get this book for free. Um, it's also an interesting link for free books in general. So make sure you follow that link, and um, then from there you will uh, can go directly to the website where you can get this actually for free uh, in terms of a PDF. Um, so um, this is something that... Um, it's a nice little thing to have there. What the information in here is that there is no practical information in techniques uh, psychic-based. <laughs> so um, there is no techniques of do this, concentrate this way, uh, etc. I should say very, very little. But what this does give you, which uh, I find very interesting, and even a person who has done a massive amount of research, um, it's an interesting way of, of building peak performance. Now, the peak performance he's building here is to use in a uh, game or basketball situation, uh, but this can be used in general. Anyone who is trying to increase peak performances, bring up your uh, biophysical energies, which is really what psychic is all about. Um, you bring your biophysical energies up, which means you're going to be much more psychically powerful. Um, now, your physicality of how fit you are, how well you think, and how well your body works is directly connected to your level of empowerment as a person uh, working with uh, biophysical and uh, occult magical energies. Uh, this is something we've um, been researching for many years. And um, going into altered states, feeling like doing rituals, being physically able to do them is important. And if you're sick, uh, you're not going to do them well. If you have a low energy level, you're not going to produce the energies you need to do. So um, it's very important to have these little uh, uh, ways of improving peak performance and giving you greater energetic fields as a physical entity. Way too much is talked about in terms of techniques uh, and not in just building yourself physically. If you're not physically fit, you're not going to perform magically well. It's just as simple as that. Um, and all other comments uh, to the difference that is ridiculous. Plain and simple. You don't feel good. You'll never do rituals. You won't be at a high state of uh, biophysical energetic uh, abilities to do telekinesis and all the type of, quote, psychic, which is a terrible term. It's biophysical. Physical. Psychic is a abused term similar to the word gay, uh, which has now been taken and distorted uh, and means something completely different than it originally did. So uh, biophysical is a better way to um, describe these things. Um, he talks about, um, and he gives some very interesting uh, terminology that goes with sports and so forth, vector manipulation, time-space manipulation, vibrational emissions, um, and he says how these things uh, interact with what you're doing in a sport situation. Um, neural impulse, uh, impulse manifestations. Problem is he doesn't tell you how to do any of this. He tells you what that is. Things like uh, controlling uh, the use of the ball, energy absorption, um, 
there are some uh, atomic uh, manipulations. Uh, this is all pretty interesting stuff in terms of um, uh, motor skill manipulation, uh, in terms of physical um, aspects of the biophysical, um, which uh, you can start um, uh, to understand at a basic level. And there are bit tidbits of little techniques uh, to assist you. Uh, again, this is riddled with his own personal belief systems um, that if you expect this to work, you need to love Jesus and uh, have the permission of God, which, of course, um, is his personal belief system, which has absolutely nothing to do with uh, biophysical empowerment uh, whatsoever. Uh, all religion is a fantasy world created by weak people to get help from a mommy and daddy that never existed. And with the thousands of years of religions, they've done nothing and continue to do nothing today except fight each other. Um, so whatever you're into, whatever you get empowerment from, if you like your uh, belief systems, well, that's totally up to you. You can use anything. You know, the occult sciences are neutral. And if you're into any particular God form uh, that you believe in, uh, you certainly can draw energy from that to assist you. So um, as you reach the state of gnosis, advanced in the highest state of human consciousness, you understand uh, of the bigger picture out there and certainly the non-existence of a particular God form that controls or does anything. But that's a personal belief system and totally up to you how you want to handle that. Um, he does get into, uh, as he said, some interesting descriptions of certain um, metaphysical states. But he does cover uh, his opinion on many areas, and there is generally good information in there, everything from sports hypnosis to diet uh, to what he considers a, to, um, a vegan whole plant diet, um, his opinions of uh, sexual energy. All of these are in here, and it goes into which I find very interesting. He does give you practical information on getting uh, so many tools to assist you. And this is something that tends to be lacking in so many books. Uh, they don't tell you how to use what are now commonly available tools. Now, you know, books written in the 70s and 80s when there wasn't a lot of tools, there wasn't access to crystals, there wasn't brain machines, there wasn't light and sound machines. You know, this has all happened in the last 20 years or so to be mass marketed out there, maybe 30 years. And it's still something that people don't look at. And, uh, you know, the best way to reach high states of empowerment is to use tools. If you use tools, you get there quicker and faster. Why spend so much time building everything up, getting into certain trance or brain states, when you can use a machine to get you there in a few minutes instead of having to spend hours trying to get there? Um, so these are things that um, uh, we, uh, he goes into a list of particular um, uh, products to use, from brain stimulators to... Um, even things to physically assist you. Now, why wouldn't you, you know, this is excellent for all those martial artists out there, and most occultists tend to be, of how to improve yourself a physical condition, how to move faster, how to uh, keep your feet and legs energized uh, to higher levels, how to uh, be able to uh, jump higher, move faster, which of course is what basketball is all about. Uh, but of course, it's, it's about regular life. If you're on the street and you're in a martial arts situation or in general, uh, you want to be able to move faster. And he goes into a lot of that, uh, what to put in your shoes, what type of shoes to get, how to support your legs. Well, while this may seem uh, geared towards basketball, it's geared towards any sport that you want to be better at. And in general, as I mentioned, move. Why not move quicker and faster on the street, even if it's just uh, moving around because of um, your particular reality of moving in a city or something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a martial arts situation, but just moving better and faster and safer in your day-to-day -day life. So he talks about that. He also gets into stones, uh, which ones are best for you. He talks about supplements um, and um, uh, other uh, workout-type tools and things that you can use to hype your game up. Uh, or, again, to physically perform at a higher level. And, of course, that's what we all want to do. 
So he goes into that, tells you that he gives you the name of a bunch of products, which uh, uh, pretty much all of them are available. There is a special basketball shoe that allows you to jump higher and further because it's got built-in kind of spring action in there. And he tells you uh, where to get this, etc. Um, and he further goes into, uh, as he said, there are plenty of these things which I find uh, very uh, helpful. And a lot of them I was unfamiliar with myself. I mean, I'm very versed in a lot of tools um, that are based in uh, psychic development. Uh, but, you know, these little things to help you physically, I was unaware of. Um, and uh, he lists these and uh, interesting different supplements right down to uh, and believes in a natural lifestyle, which is the way to go, obviously, right down to telling you uh, which uh, shampoos are good. So you can start stop using all those chemicals and people uh, seem to lose the point. Uh, they may eat good foods and then you're slabbing into your hair and on your body petrochemicals and your skin absorbs a lot. So it's something very important in your life that you need to actually use better soaps, get all the chemicals out of there, uh, which uh, tend to be very toxic. Um, there are many brands. Find something that you that uh, you can afford. Of course, all these things tend to shoot up in price. Uh, but uh, get something that is as natural as possible without all these uh, PABAs and other crap in there, uh, these petroleum products which aren't good for you. And, you know, day after day, year after year, these things build up on your skin and hair, and you actually take them into your system. So it's uh, just as important and maybe even more uh, when you are using soaps and other things. Um, uh, some people think you take in almost a quart or a liter of water in your body when you take a shower. Well, that's a huge amount of water. So you should be using a, uh, a shower filter. Make sure your water is clean. These are all things that are very important uh, that you should uh, be um, using uh, as an important aspect of your life on a daily basis. And I think people ignore that. And I don't think too many people uh, are using shower filters. Now, well, it's very important to, uh, to do that. Some um, people will drink pure water, eat pure foods, and then they get into the toxic sewer, which is your regular water, which is full of all sorts of different chemicals from chlorines to uh, all sorts of additives that are in there. No matter where you live, there's toxic stuff everywhere. Even that builds up in your systems, you could have very highly toxic bacterias in there because they built up in your uh, water systems and other places, which is a real problem, particularly throughout um, Europe, uh, where they don't have proper heating systems for your water or have neglected those because of the incompetency that seems to come from uh, Europeans in general. Uh, so the whole idea is that all this is, is outlined there. I won't go into, uh, there are certain websites which are very interesting that help you in these areas um, that are also listed um, and uh, many different things I've never even heard of before. And there are certain things just for basketball, if that's what you do. But um, um, certainly I found this to be a very interesting book. And if you can get it for free, well, that's what we're all looking for, aren't we? Great information for free. Uh, you have to pass over the uh, rant about this person's personal belief systems. Uh, if you like that, well, this will just make the book uh, creamier and more wonderful for you. Um, so uh, I do highly recommend this book. There's a lot of goodies in here, a lot of things to follow up that will heighten your uh, personal performance in uh, the biophysical reality. So get this book, uh, go through it, and definitely go through all the little um, products that are offered there and find out how that can work into your life. Uh, as I just stated, these are critical uh, to get fast or high levels of empowerment quickly. So follow the link below, like this, join as a subscriber. We have huge amounts of very special information coming to you. You're not going to find this anywhere else and you're not going to get the truth anywhere else because everybody's connected to some sort of corrupt uh, fantasy reality or working for the bad guys and uh, we're not them. So we are the good guys and you need to support us and follow this message.